Hey Summers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Meg 2 and the next episode in our Let's Play The Sims free play series. This is the Pirate and His Goddess quest. As you can see, we've got four days to complete the quest. You do it to unlock the limited time pirate fashion pack containing pirate hats, eye patches, dreadlocked hair, and more, and also gain access to the all new pirate ship. Which you can gain access to even if you don't manage to complete it within the four day time period. Yep. So the first task is visit the island. A quest about pirates? Cool. If a pirate ship were to arrive in Simtown, it would probably dock somewhere on the island. Visit the island and see if you can spot one. Call cool. five sims to the community center. Hang on, where are all the pirates? What if they're already in town digging in your sims' backyards for treasure? Get five of your sims to hold an emergency town meeting at the community centre. One, two, three, four. Call a teen to the community centre. That's a pretty great selection of sims, although you need someone to represent the younger demographic. Call a teen to the community center. So as yet, we don't actually have a teenager. We just have a preteen, and we didn't age up Rose unless we had to. But now it looks like we will have to age her up. So, so let's give her a birthday, and she will now turn into a teenager. Preteen Rose, we hardly knew you. <laughs> and now you're already a young woman. So let's they age so fast. <laughs> Time goes by so quickly. Let's call over Rose. Have a teen play a sea shanty on piano. We're almost ready to discuss the arrival of pirates, but first we need to set the mood. Get one of your teens to play a sea shanty on the piano at the community center. This is the piano here. Sea shanty for 5 minutes and 36 seconds. She's very chic looking. I like the hairdo. Yeah, I like the hair. I mean, she's always been pretty cool, even mm -hmm. as a toddler. Yeah. Have five sims sitting in front of the podium. That was great. See those special chairs in front of the podium. Get five of your sims to sit there and attend the town meeting. <laughs> They're already sitting, but okay. Attend town meeting for 12 hours and 30 minutes. I love how Sims will just go straight for a chair. They do love a sit, -a, a sit down. Great. So this means that we've got them all sitting down, we don't actually have to wait 12 and a half hours. Mm. So you can save time or life points by cancelling the tasks. Host the town meeting. The audience is ready. Now we just need somebody to make a speech. Select the podium and get one of your adult sims to host the town meeting. So I think we... Oh yeah, that's true. Very clever. Host town meeting for 12 hours and 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Make an espresso. The first speaker leaves the podium after highlighting the positive effect pirates could have on tourism. Speech making is thirsty work. Luckily, there's an espresso vending machine at the rear of the community center near the sand pit. Go help yourself to an espresso. I don't think I was aware there was a sand pit in the no. community center. Oops. Okay, so espresso for 20 seconds. Object at the podium. One of your sims just thought of a fantastic counter-argument. If pirates dig for treasure in our backyards and deplete our soils of simoleons, there will be no treasure left for dogs to find. Get one of your sims to object at the podium. I think Ron is a natural person to object to anything Draco <laughs> Malfoy says. How cute. Look yeah. at that. 
<laughs> but it's a nice spirited argument as well. Pros and cons of having pirates in your town. Power Chord Presentation One of your sims has prepared a Power Chord presentation featuring graphs, bullet points and, of course, funny pictures of cats. Unfortunately, nobody brought a projector. Get one of your sims to use the blackboard to give a presentation. Oh, you yeah, can carry on. Give presentation for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Have a teen look at the pirate. Look, a pirate just arrived at the community center. He's a little too young to be a pirate, don't you think? Get one of your teens to take a closer look at him. Look for two minutes. I remember this quest. It's gonna be pretty cute for Rose. Is she gonna make a pirate friend? <laughs> <laughs> look at her checking, checking him, him out. Right She's looking very suspicious. Have a teen talk to the pirate. I have a feeling this teenage pirate is going to be popular with your single teens. Mm. Get a teen to talk to him. Choose carefully. Whoever speaks to him first may fall victim to his rugged good looks and fall in love. I mean, she really grows up fast. Only oh, just became yeah. a teenager and she's oh, already wow. doing this. I remember when she just was perfectly happily dressing up as a dinosaur. <laughs> Talk to the pirate again. Smooth. Okay, now have your teen ask him why he's here, without fainting if possible. Well, I think she's got shy and run away. Well, she's also got both of her parents here and her Uncle, Uncle. Harry and Draco all sort of chaperoning and supervising. <laughs> have a teen give a speech at the podium. Your pirate visitor comes from a long line of explorers and says he's travelled many days and nights across the vast ocean in pursuit of an ancient treasure located somewhere nearby. However, he's not from around these parts and needs a local's help to find it. Get your teen to use the podium and sway the crowd into helping him. Give speech for four minutes. Search Simtown and find the pirate. Hey, where's he going? Your Sim hasn't finished talking to him yet. Search around town until you find the pirate again. Mm. That's not cool. Where's Gold Gas? <laughs> For people in Sims, free play. Yep, he was at the park, task complete. Call a teen to the park. Hey, there he is. Your teen can't wait to talk to him again. Let's bring your teen to the park. Mm. So now they're alone, except for all of the except for Brie quest quick characters and Latin dancers and the nanny. Oh no! Hide in the public <laughs> toilet at the park. That's not right. Uh oh, your teen feels as though they might faint again. Quick, go hide in the public toilet. I'm very surprised that any daughter of Hermione Granger would be so flustered. Flustered around boys. Hide for 18 energy. Okay, so hide and then fall asleep for a very long time. In the public toilet in the park. Mm. It's a nice park, so... Ask about journal. After using the bathroom mirror to practice casual conversation, your teen is feeling confident. So confident, in fact, that your teen is ready to speak to the pirate again. They even thought of an icebreaker to begin a conversation with. Get your teen to ask the pirate about his journal. Ask about journal for three minutes. Those dancers have been dancing there for literally months. They're like Energizer bunnies, they never give up. Just patiently waiting for us to tap on their task. Look at Pirate's Journal. The Pirate says the journal is a family heirloom containing maps, riddles, and clues leading to the secret location of buried treasures. Right now he's using it to find something called the Ancient Goddess. Exciting. Your teenage sim wants to have a look. Where are you going? Don't go. 
Look at journal for three seconds. That's my kind of task. That's an. That's. <laughs> that's a no. Yeah. Solve the first riddle. The pirate says he's stuck on the first riddle. It goes like this: A man with a heart of stone ponders upon his stony throne, surrounded by knights and kings alike. The clue is the colour he most likes. Take a look around the park and see if you can solve the mystery. Once you find the answer, tell the pirate. If you have trouble solving the riddle, don't worry, it's multiple choice. <laughs> so, so, man with a heart of stone is the this statue. statue. Uh, what's his favourite colour? Hmm. Surrounded by knights and kings alike. That's the chess. So, so, search for clues, okay? Your sim just found a secret message scratched into the statue. My favorite color is the result of mixing blue and red. Uh, pink? No, violet? Are you kidding me? What happens if you mix blue and red? Purple. Uh, okay, let's go back to talk to the pirate. So, purple, of course, eight hours. Joke around with the pirate. That's it, purple. Get your sims to joke around with the pirate to celebrate. Joke around for 12 seconds. Now this is a daughter of Ron Weasley. <laughs> oh no, it's using the classic Sims free play be funny routine. <laughs> with the buzzer in the hand. Is she going to pass wind? She might not have time in 12 seconds. No, it's, oh look, she's looking a bit shy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have a teen talk to a friend about pirates. Did you see that? The pirate just kissed your teen on the cheek. Not only is your teen getting a crush on the pirate, but I think he's falling for your teen as well. Aww. And why not? Rose is awesome. Get your teen to talk with one of their friends about what just happened. Ooh, she doesn't have any. Yeah, she does. Is she friends with Harry? How cute. Talk about pirate for nine hours and 30 minutes. That's cute. She gets to talk to her Uncle Harry about her new crush. Find the pirate. Now the old teen has finished telling their friend about the sneaky kiss from the pirate, it's time to get back to solving the mystery of the ancient goddess. The pirate is somewhere in town. Go find him. Okay, so I am thinking community center. And then I'm going to try... Uh, stables. stables. So we're going to try the stables. <laughs> Because we just have a crazy hunch that we found out about online. Say hi to the pirate. There he is, near the crossroads, the horse stables. Get your teenage sim to say hi to him. Why does he keep running away from her, though? I know. Why is something still locked here? I thought I unlocked everything. Is there another quest? No, you have to actually pay to build the stable uh, areas. Say hello, sailor, for one minute. Yeah, I don't like how he keeps making her chase him all over town. I know. Like... She deserves better. He's got boots and, and shorts. That's not a good look. <laughs> solve the second riddle. He's trying to solve a riddle that will lead to a secret password. Once he has the password, he'll be able to find the ancient goddess. In the place of everlasting winter, kindling lies dormant. As fire ignites and the room fills with light, the lost page shall appear where the elephant's trunk is raised day and night. Upon this page, the most ancient password will allow the goddess to finally rise. Solve the riddle and share it with a pirate. If you get stumped, try guessing. So I think Everlasting Winter is going to be the... Snow Park. The Snow Park. And then where the elephant's trunk is raised day and night will be the swimming center, I think. Okay, so having done this quest before, we know that the password is admin, which is a 12-hour task. Have a teen dance with the pirate. Congratulations, you solved the second riddle. Get your teen to dance with the pirate to celebrate. How cute. Dancing for two minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Is this, this he, looks like different dancing to normal. Yeah, he's dancing a bit like a monkey. Yeah. Ask the pirate why he's upset. 
Uh-oh, the pirate looks upset about something. I wonder why he's crying. Ask him what's wrong. All those feelings. Talk for one minute. Convince the pirate. The pirate looks out to the sea wistfully, talking of his life and the generations before him living on the sea. Turning back to your sim, he says it would be foolish of him to believe he could ever make a home in Simtown. Your sim doesn't want him to leave. Quick, convince him to stay. Please stay for four minutes. This is going to be Rose. so tragic. I mean, yeah, don't beg. Come on. Yeah, love yourself, Rose. Come on. Like, it's not cute. But she's been a teenager for literally 20 minutes. <laughs> she's got lots of feelings she doesn't know how to deal with yet. How oh, did she get on her knee? Tap the ancient goddess on the island. Despite all the sweet nothings your sim whispers in his <laughs> ear, along with promise of meeting their parents, the pirate knows he must go, but not before he shares his discovery of the ancient goddess near the public beach on the island. Go check it out. <laughs> ancient goddess gives your sims a chance of earning bonus hobby skill after any hobby interaction. Earn gold, rubies, and emeralds by trading resources with the captain of the pirate ship. Okay. Send your team to the park. There it is. Wow, it's going to be spectacular. And look, the pirate left a message there for your team. I have a surprise for you. Come meet me in the park. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Wait, is the pirate ship here? Oh, there's the pirate ship. Yeah. What can we do with the pirate ship before we carry on? Well, when a pirate comes, you can trade whatever resources, those gold, ruby, or emerald things you've collected. It takes a really long time. Yeah, and I, that's... I've, I've given up really on that one in my, in my other game. Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye. The pirate explains to your sim that he's heading back to the open sea, promising to return as often as he can, bringing with him treasure chests containing everything you need to rebuild the goddess. Get your teen sim to talk to him one last time to say farewell. Thought he was going to have a surprise. That's the surprise. Oh, uh, what? Um... What's going on? <laughs> What's that next? Oh, it's a record player. Oh my. Well, well. Oh. Smooth. This is different dancing. <laughs> How cute. Okay, let's give the two of them some privacy. This is a great little scene. Harry chaperoning. Or spying. Or spying. Oh my. Wowzers. Congratulations, you completed the pirate and his goddess quest. The pirate has departed Simtown, both fulfilled by the amazing time spent with your sim and saddened by having to follow his calling. Mm. Pledging to never forget, he'll return as often as possible with gold, rubies, and emeralds to help rebuild the goddess to her former glory. Congratulations, you've been awarded with a limited edition pirate fashion pack. You'll find it in your wardrobe. New quest available, The Road to Fame. This is the teen idol quest. So that'll be our next video. And in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and see the pirate fashion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh, we should change her hair, by the way, with all the new hairstyles we unlocked. There oh, we there go. You. Oh my goodness. What um, an interesting look. I like her current frizzy hair, though. It makes it easy for <laughs> me to identify. It's grown on you? Well, if I want to identify her, it's like, yeah, that's <laughs> her. Like, she's unique. So we already looked at hair tattoos. Yeah, I think some of the tattoos are from... So that's a mermaid. Oh, okay. so, But I'm not sure how much of the tattoos were actually from the pirate. Probably all of them. Okay, there's... Uh, hmm. That looks... So some nifty dreadlocks. Hmm. I like the texture of the dreadlocks. Yeah, me as well. Outfits? We don't think there's any outfits. 
There's also yeah, a range of new tattoos. It's a ship. A That's ship. cool. And the mermaid again. The mermaid again. Hard to tell. <laughs> Another mermaid. But also the thing is, so much of their stuff is hidden under yeah. their clothes. So anyway, that has been the Pirate and His Goddess quest. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave it a like and let us know what you thought in the comments below. Also, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. We have lots more Sims free play content on the way soon. Thanks for watching.